It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking ratios written in three different ways. Here we go. We are presented with this problem. A zookeeper counted the birds at a zoo. He recorded the following number of birds for each type of bird. 21 flamingos, 24 penguins, and 6 storks. We are asked to identify the ratios that represent the relationships between the different types of birds at the zoo. For each relationship in the table, we're to select 7 to 8, 7 to 2, or 21 to 51. Here's where I'd like you to pause the video, select which one of these goes to each one of these relationships, and come back and check my work. Good luck. Welcome back. So I want to begin my understanding. We have 21 flamingos, 24 penguins, and six storks. And these are the birds that we're talking about at the zoo. All together, if we added these up, 24 plus 6 is 30, plus another 21 gives us 51 birds. So that's going to become important to understand. That we have a total of 51 birds, 21 of them are flamingos, 24 of them are penguins, and 6 of them are storks. Then I'm looking down at those relationships. So I'm going to color code this for myself. Flamingos to penguins and flamingos are 21. So if I go back up, I'm making notes here. 21 flamingos, colon, noticing that we can use a colon, a fraction bar, or the word two to represent the ratio. Any of them are acceptable. So penguins is 24. So we have 21 to 24. I can see that none of my answer choices are 21 to 24. The reason being is we can simplify this. Each one of these values is divisible by 3. 21 divided by 3 is 7. 24 divided by 3 is 8. So now that I have my flamingos to penguins in simplest form, I can identify that the ratio is 7 to 8. Now let's talk about flamingos to all the birds at the zoo. So I know there's, again, we have 21 flamingos and the total number of birds at the zoo is 51. 21 to 51 is in simplest form because 51 is prime and I can see that that is this answer choice. And our third one, we have flamingos to storks. We have 21 flamingos and we have six storks. So understanding that sometimes the number that follows may be smaller so it's not smaller and then larger. We have to follow the order in which the ratio was given to us. Noticing that 21 to 6 is not present in this table because these are both, again, divisible by 3. 21 divided by 3 is 7. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So this ratio in simplest form is 7 to 2, which can be written with a fraction bar. 7 fraction bar 2. So that is our answer choice. So there you have the three ratios written as a relationship of these three types of birds at the zoo. And there you have it. That's ratios in three different ways here at the Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you have a great day and that you'll come back soon.